Chapter 108 or 10,000 Bone Yin Mountain, an East Spirit Fire Sea. It's you. You wanted to kill my daughter just now. The unseen man's tone was icy cold. It carried a monstrous fury. The Unshengren took a step out, and the black fog behind him steeply thickened by one point. And in the black fog, apart from the sound of ghosts crying, it even seemed that there were countless ghosts' heads scrambling to hit the black fog, wanting to come out in general. Daughter, show shy shy, widowed, orphaned and disabled. Abandoned by heaven and earth. How could there be a descendant? Even if there were, they would be killed by your destiny. How could you possibly have a daughter? Who are you? Mr. Dongfang said in a deep voice. There will be no descendants. Thinking of this, the Enshengren more and more difficult, because the more so, the more proof of Long Xiao Yu that year for their own pay how much. Long Wanching. Long Wan Yu come to have not easy. Long Wanching died. This Long Wan Yu is their own in the world's most precious treasure. Just now, almost killed by the person in front of me. Mr. Dong Fang. But at the time of the end of the question, steep hands pinch out a handprint. 10,000 bones in mountain. Listen to my call. Divine bones descend. Destroy my enemy. Mr. Dong Fang shouted throughout his life. Rumble. It was the huge white mist behind him that steeply trembled and shook. A bunch of skeleton palms suddenly moved towards the edge and opened up. And in the center, there was a stacked and swirling, but suddenly a pang came out from within. Boom. That breath out, immediately pressed near the ice G injury on top of injury. Puh. A mouthful of blood spurted out from the ice G, and she quickly retreated towards the back. Car. Steeply, a huge skeletal palm reached out from within. The skeletal hand pulled, who are you? A huge skeleton head emerged from within, and within the skeleton's eyes, there was a gleam of ghostly light. Dong Fang Shou, you summoned me, the skeleton said in a chilling tone. White Bone Divine General, help me destroy the enemy, and I will find millions of flesh and blood for you. Dong Fang Shou shouted at once. Deal, gargle 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 gargle. That skeleton, however, let out a grimace. Go, 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 go. The skeleton slowly crawled out from the white mist behind Dong Fang Shou, and every time it crawled out a little bit, the aura around it skyrocketed by a portion, surging and sweeping in all directions. Up a heavenly palace, Bing Ji was surprised. Cough, cough, cough. White Bone God General. This is the aura of a first time entrant to the upper heavenly palace. You divine needle also dragged his weak body back towards the rear, his face ugly as he did so. White Bone God General. The White Bone God General came out bit by bit, while Gu Hai in the distance was staring in disbelief, not because of the White Bone God General's powerful aura, but rather, inside his own body, the Jedi Life Blade suddenly burst into a chorus of trembling, and seemed to emit a trace of resentment in general. Absolute Life Knife. Guhai frowned slightly. It seemed that the absolute life blade was a bone that came out of nowhere, bone ancestor. That 10,000 bones in mountain was related to the absolute life blade. The absolute life blade trembled, but it was deadened by Guhai. The unliving watched as the white bone god general in front of him climbed out of the white mist channel. Eastern spirit fire sea, hear my call, demon god, descend. The Enshengren steeply formed a hand seal, with both hands as well. The rolling black mist behind the Enshengren, the outlines of countless ghost heads quickly parted towards the edges, and a churning erupted in the center. Boom! With a loud noise, from within, a war horse covered in underworld fire rushed out with a bang, and on top of the war horse, an armor-clad general, his body wrapped in fire, stepped out of the horse, instantly bringing out an aura that was no weaker than that of the White Bone Divine General. Roar! The fire horse let out a loud roar, resembling a dragon's might and came out, shaking the surroundings of the Great Slaughter Imperial Palace violently. Lord, you summoned me! The giant general covered in fire looked towards the unborn. Underworld Fire God Marshal, kill them, 
I want them dead. And Shengren roared. Yes, the underworld fire god Handsome roared in response. The eastern spirit fire sea, not far away, Guhai raised his eyebrows, revealing a hint of surprise. In the past, the eastern eight, and the previous few eastern servants, the underworld fire dragons that they summoned, seemed to come from the eastern spirit fire sea. Ah, the Unshengren also summoned the underworld fire god, Handsome, from the eastern spirit fire sea. Could it be that the eastern spirit fire sea was used by Shoshai Gong? Rumble. As soon as the white bone god general and the underworld fire god Handsome came out, the powerful auras of the two were instantly indistinguishable from each other. The white bone god general, however, twisted his head to look at Mr. Dongfang, Dongfang Shou, a million blood and flesh, it's not enough. You make your move, I'll have a million more blood and flesh, Dongfang Shou said in a cold voice. Good, hey ha ha. The white bone god general stepped out and clawed towards the crowd. The void was covered with sky, and steeply endless skeletal claws suddenly appeared, coming towards the crowd. Boo! The fire horse let out a long whistle, and its huge hoof stepped out with a roar, and instantly, endless hoof shadows suddenly crashed into the skeletal hand claws. Rumble! At that moment, the void shook. Go! The underworld fire god Marshall steeply swung out a chain covered in flames. Wow! It instantly wrapped around towards the white bone god general. Hell chains, HMPH. The white bone god general steeply blasted out with a fist. Boom! The fist and the chain collided, instantly causing the chain to lurch. But the chain was rapidly winding towards the white bone god general's arm. Roar! The white bone god general roared in anger. Clack 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 clack. Endless bones steeply emerged from the four directions. The bones seemed to grow out of the ground and emerge from the void, surging towards the opposite crowd. HMPH. The underworld fire god handsome, out a cold snort. Similarly emerging from the ground, Endless underworld flames shot out of the void, crashing towards the white bones. Boom, the earth around them violently shook. The white bone god general and underworld fire god handsome were momentarily difficult to distinguish between victory and defeat. Dong Fang Shou stood after the white bone god general, watching the two summon netherworld powerhouses fight, and also clenched his fists long ago. The white robe southeast, Northwest and West cultivates life, the black robe spring, summer, autumn, and winter cultivates death. You summon the underworld fire god handsome, you cultivate the death Dao. Kun Shen, Shahu, or Dong Fang Shou was about to ask. However, just halfway through the question, Dong Fang Shu's voice came to an abrupt end. Instead, he saw An Shengren's other hand wave. Boom. Rolling white mist also emerged from the other side behind him, and within the white mist, countless skeletons suddenly tumbled. Ten thousand bones in mountain. Listen to my call. Divine bones descend and destroy my enemies. The unborn repeated Dong Fang Xu's words. The words just fell, rumble. Within the white mist, a gigantic hand claw steeply extended. Ka, as that claw stretched out, the white bone god general and underworld fire god handsome, who were fighting not far away suddenly gave a start and looked over in surprise. Who are you? However, they saw that a huge skeleton had once again emerged from behind the uninvited person. Another white bone god general, Bing Ji was surprised, rumble. The gigantic skeleton walked out from behind the unliving man. An Shengren, you summoned me. The huge skeleton said in a deep voice, White Bone God General, kill him for me. The Unshengren pointed at Dong Fang Shou. Roar! The huge skeleton steeply emitted a great destructive aura. While Dong Fang Shou had summoned one White Bone God General, the Unshengren had summoned two one Underworld Fire God Marshal and one White Bone God General. Impossible! The Tao of Death doesn't use show treasure. 
the Tao of Life summons, and you don't use show treasure either. Dong Fang Shou abruptly exclaimed, Boom! The white bone god general summoned by the unliving man steeply stepped out and grabbed at Dong Fang Shou with a claw. While Dong Fang Shou's white bone god general was being held back by the underworld fire god marshal, Dong Fang Shou suddenly had an empty door open. Asshole! Dong Fang Shou's face changed and he struck out with a palm. Boom! The white bone god general's power was ultimately enormous, and after Dong Fang Shou greeted him with a palm, he was immediately knocked back ten feet before stopping. Puh! A mouthful of blood spurted out from Dong Fang Shou. Who are you? The Tao of Life and the Tao of Death are incompatible. Who the hell are you? Dong Fang Shou stared blankly at the unliving man. The Enchengren, however, flew towards Dong Fang Shou along with that white bone god general. The Eastern lineage, I'll be the one to extinguish your salary flame today. The Enchengren said in a chilling voice. Boom! The white bone god general struck again. Dong Fang Shou was shocked and furious. But, having invited the white bone god general, he was simply unbeatable. Wow! Dong Fang Shou probed his hand and a rift appeared in the void abruptly. Huiyu! Dong Fang Shou instantly drilled into it. Escape into the nether world, HMPH, in front of me. You also want to escape. The unborn's anger shot up to the sky. Boom. The unliving man led the white bone god general towards the interior. On the other side, the stalemated white bone god general and underworld fire god handsome also abruptly stopped fighting for a second and followed along to chase after them. Rumble. Even as the crowd of ghostly creatures left, they brought out a terrifying aura that instantly scattered the countless corpses of the Divine Blood army in the surroundings. Huiyu. The unborn entered the nether world to hunt down Dong Fang Shou. The White Bone Divine General and Underworld Fire Divine Handsome all followed suit, and the void slowly restored itself, leaving Yu Hai and his party staring in amazement at the disappearing swarm of demons. Shou Shai summoning, a ghost that can summon the heavenly palace. Cough, cough, cough. Gu Hai coughed for a while, staring wide-eyed. Brother-in-law, are you all right? Long Wen Yu, however, looked at Gu Hai worriedly. Cough, cough. Gu Hai revealed a bitter smile. At this moment inside his body, it was so bad that it couldn't be worse. The unborn, chasing after Dong Fang Shou, the external crisis was lifted. But the internal crisis, however, had yet to be eliminated. Your Majesty, Bing Ji quickly stepped forward, probing her hand against Gu Hai's back, drawing in the cold air. Gu Hai instantly felt better, but the ice on his body was getting more and more, thanks to the unborn being able to come in time. Mr. Gu, how did you call him? Yi Divine Needle also weakly stepped forward. Gu Hai smiled slightly bitterly, and was about to speak. Boom. Tilda 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 tilda. Steeply, the great killing palace shook, but it was above the sky. That a crack appeared steeply, and in the crack, endless blood light was imprinted into it. Not good. The barrier of this small world is going to break. In the outside world, it's Great Empress Shu using the Blood Prism Blade to break the boundary. Yi Divine Needle's face abruptly changed. Boom! There was another loud bang. Ka 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 ka. The cracks in the sky grew. It seemed to break open at any time. Empress Shu is going to break in. Your Majesty. Can you still recall the unborn? Bing Ji looked towards Gu Hai. Gu Hai smiled slightly bitterly. The black jade talisman had already shattered. There was no way to recall it now or. Boom. There was another loud bang. The entire four sides of the great killing palace were illuminated by bloodlight. And the barriers didn't know how much longer they could hold out. Brother in law, what now? Long when you worried. Help me over. Gu Hai weakly walked towards the stool in front of the great killing saint. Bing Ji endured her injuries and Long Wenyu supported Gu Hai, 
walking step by step to the stall covered with silk cloth. Probing his hand, Guhai went to lift the silk cloth, 